Holy crap, I've got to be one of the luckiest guys around. So I'm heading off to the Grizzly Lodge very soon, just a couple of days. So I'm doing a little bit of maintenance on the sleds, getting them ready for the trip. Went ahead and I was going to go change the chain case oil on my Lynx. So if you guys haven't seen, check out this latest video. My last trip with the Lynx was in some of the deepest snow I've ever rode. And it was just wide open throttle the whole time. And other than the trenching, had no issues with the machine whatsoever. So I figured I'd just do the chain case oil, a little bit of maintenance before it gets a really good workout in the next little bit. And look at what I stumbled on. So I went ahead, drained the chain case oil. Then I removed this top little cap. And as soon as I pulled this cap, look at what I found. The top bolt, which holds the top gear on, as you can see behind, literally just fell out. So I haven't even tried to grab it yet. My mind is kind of blown. Like I said, I was wide open throttle that entire trip. I have no idea how something serious didn't happen there. So I have no idea how that top gear stayed on and how that chain case stayed in one piece. I am counting my blessings because my last trip we were deep down in a pretty good drainage. It was so deep, a guy would have never been able to tow a sled out. I don't know how I avoided disaster on that one, but I think I'm gonna go buy some lottery tickets because that is just crazy. <laughs> well, I got everything apart here and everything else looks perfect. So we've got our bolt torqued back up. If that is a close call, I will definitely be checking on that throughout the next trip. Let's get her back together and let's get on our way. Well guys, not the start to the grizzly chip I anticipated. Stupid Alberta folk with their mud tires thinking they can climb icy roads. Really unfortunate situation. Right at the bottom of this hill, we just hit some trucks coming down. Had to stop. The truck's a manual, so I had to start back from first gear, start to try crawling. And as you can see, made it so close, started sliding back and naturally that's what's gonna happen. Honestly, it's kind of the best case scenario where everything stopped. Uh, we've got some chains jimmy rig now. We pulled them off of a different truck with the bigger tires. They're just fitting, so we're getting those put on and hopefully we can crawl out of here. We took the three sleds out of the trailer. So yeah, it's embarrassing, no doubt. Debated about even putting this on the video but hey things happen we're all human mud tires are not always the best option i'm very confident that had we not met those trucks and had to stop i would have had momentum i would have made it up no problem but uh you live and you learn needless to say the first round of drinks are on me excitement to start things off <laughs> well guys after making it up to the cabin last night we had to celebrate by getting the truck out of a tricky situation and uh, not having too much carnage so we may have celebrated a little too hard you know not doing some of my finest riding needless to say the carnage continues this has not been a good start all around <laughs> kind of looks bad now but i think just have to pop the hood off and reset it, but it looks a little cross-eyed from uh, this view. And I don't know about you guys, but I personally have never seen this before. Ain't that something. Didn't break anything. Just turned this giant pontoon of a Lynx ski 90 degrees. Well guys, I'll be the first to say my riding isn't quite up to snuff today, but my auto body skills is on par. Look at that. Nose is straight, ski is basically flat. 
Brad's enjoying his coffee, watching me work. Oh yeah. We are ready to go. Which is really screwing me. of the trip so far has been carnage and i'm sad to say it continues so we've got joey here he's got his summit 850. we just met back up with these boys in this creek and uh, apparently the summit 
has cratered. There's nasty grinding, and I think she kicked the bed. Luckily, we just follow this creek straight down. It actually jumps right back onto the logging road, so should be able to easily tow it out and get back to the lodge and uh, go from there. <laughs> fortunate that this is the mouth of that creek and here's the road <laughs> Oh, that was fucking sweet. <laughs> 